Bill, Arkansas. A sellout crowd inside Bud Walton Arena. It's number 21, Texas A&M, takes on the Arkansas Razorbacks in SEC. Ed oh, Bumford and Macon did not play well Tuesday night at Mid Ole Miss. Uh, expect them to come out and, and on fire and get after it this afternoon. Well, apparently Daniel Gafford heard you talking about him in the painted area. He gets the first point of the well, afternoon. He has had a terrific couple weeks. Runs the floor well, defends well, long. He's just got to stay on the court, That's out of foul too. trouble. And another freck. Here's Macon, four and white. One of the best scorers in the league, and he gets on the board with his first shot of the afternoon. And if Macon hits one or two early, he is terrific offensive so player. Jump. Admon Gilder tried to throw it up to Williams. A&M loses it. Here comes the Razorback. Well, I think Gafford thought he fouled on that time when he knocked it out of Davis's hand. He kind of quit playing as though he had committed a foul. Here's Barford. His first two. So Barford and Macon were two of 13 combined. There's blood on the floor, and that's a signal for Dave England to get involved. And there's another triple for the Hobbs. That Barford. a &M is the best defensive field goal percentage team in this conference. They challenge the team in this time conference hope. at over 82 points a game. They will put points on the board in this building. Inside, Gafford. Good pass. Gabe Osaboyan. Not a great offensive talent by shooting the ball, but what a presence. Beard with five on the shot clock got into the painted area. Another veteran guard, senior, last the shot clock winding games. down, probably doesn't need it. Dustin Thomas, nice touch Dustin from the free throw line. Hands it ought to be in. Torcha Morales, a little too much dribble. Turn over, can't have it. Again, if you sit on the ball, if you pound it and pound it, uh, the Hogs will just eat you alive. Going into that timeout, Darrell Macon was at the scores table ready to set, check back in. And instead, Mike Anderson sits him back down last the bench. Four games, uh, nearly 90 points a game. Barford, the one-arm rebound. Out to Jones at the other end. An easy two for the Hogs. Well, Mike Ander Anderson has an athletic squad on the floor now. Starks. Jumper. Good. T.J. Starks, the SEC Rookie of the Week. 62 assists, only 32 turnovers coming in today. And T.J. Jones has the hot hand for Arkansas. Confident. Mason got switched off. Inside, Gafford off the window. Gafford. Gafford's become so as a two seed. Well, two or three seed would be great. One seed to your target. Here, no, and there's another dunk by the king of the dunk pass, <laughs> Daniel Gafford. That's his 53rd. Anytime you're beat, beaten off the dribble, as Gilder is here, then a defender has to help out. So Robert Williams, look, he leaves to help out. Nobody picks up. Terrific Gafford basketball play. Two-three zone. They were successful early with it. Anton Beer does allow him to set up. Five on the shot clock to the Aggies. Good hands by Beer. Picked it off. Here's Barford at the other end. Circus shot, no good, and no whistle. Great defense by Hogue. And a nice look up ahead. Williams with the big finish. Wow. One way to run your offense, just beat the defense down the floor. AM has played well enough to maybe be tied or ahead in this game. They've not shot the ball well enough, and their free throws have not been good. Bad nice defense from Gaffer. Yeah, bad defensive assignment there. Got beat on the cut. Here's Osaboya. From the elbow. Hey, you leave him alone. I'll hit that. Macon's a high, quick jumper shooter. Money got fouled. That shot is blocked, but Chuck Jones says, count the hoop. So add the... There's Gaffer to the hole. Interesting Mitch, uh, matchup with Gafford and Davis. Gafford more mobile if he can get Davis on the outside. Oh, he'll step back. Too strong. 
but he gets his own miss and finds his backcourt make it. Gilder blocked by Gaffer. Coming ahead. And Gilder will. So if they can get this one, it'd be four in a row. Kind of solidifies what we think is their spot in the NCAA okay. tournament. And good move by Billy Kennedy. Go to the matchup zone. Having a few is issues trying to guard this quicker Arkansas team. Yeah, Thomas threw it right to the coaching staff. Underneath. A chance at a three-point play for Gaffer. And what a difference between Sparks almost. Well, he did turn it over. Well, he traveled. They didn't call that, but they didn't throw it away. Here's Macon on the way. Here's the challenge for a &M. Starks is rattled. They don't have leadership on the floor from the guard position. And a timeout on the floor. The largest lead of the game. Macon. Hesitation. Good. <laughs> The only thing I'd tell Macon if I was Gagging coaching, I'd say lace your An answer at the other end by C.J. Jones. Some coaches, when you check in, would like you to break a sweat <laughs> before, before you get a heat check. There's the lob from Gilder to Williams. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Barford muscles it up and in. Bobby, the yeah, first point to the set. Williams, the face-up game from Rob Williams. 14 points to go along with 11 rebounds. Check another box off, right? The scouts that are here. Here's Jones, heat check. <laughs> oh, I love those catch and release kind of guys. You were a catch and release well, kind of guy. Feels like leather, you shoot it. <laughs> uh, also. Ten to shoot. Barford does. The value of senior guards that can, when they're around, uh, Razorback fans love seeing them. Trey Thompson gets in the store so good now. For Defensively, they were so active, but they had such great production. And Barford with an exclamation point. Five on the shot clock. Barford squeezes one off. Man, is that a tough mate. Guy in your face. Step back just a bit, but what a difficult shot. When you first got into that thing, you didn't practice it. And the odd part was, if you shot one, you thought it was good and reached out for a lot of confidence from the head coach, Mike Anderson, to use those weapons at different points of the game. Well, it's all working now for... Jalen Barford got the shooter's touch inside Bud Walton Arena. The crowd wanted Trey Thompson to go in and dunk that ball. Instead, Gafford throws it down and has a chance at a three-point play. And inside Bud Walton Arena, and for good reason, Daniel Gafford and the Hogs are putting it on the 21st-ranked Aggies. Then all Arkansas inside Bud Walton Arena. And Daryl Macon shoots down another three. So think of this, Rich. They're, they're up, they were up 13. Do you run clock? Do you do? No, no. Macon jumps up, knocks in a three. They're second in the conference in scoring 82.4 points a game, and they're the best field goal percentage team in the league. They've shown it this afternoon. And they will not slow down. This is how they put this Razorback squad. Your final from Fayetteville, Arkansas 94, 21st ranked AM 75 coming up next.